Welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Wiryawan, and today I want to talk about this lens right here, the Olympus 12 to 40 mm f2.8. Let's go. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My channel talks mainly about photography and also about music from the perspective of an enthusiast. I'm not a professional, so if you want something more authentic, more honest, then this might be the right channel for you and you might want to consider to subscribe on my channel down below. If you are already a subscriber or even if you're not already a subscriber but you want to support my channel even more, then you can use my affiliate links. I will put some links down below that you can check out to further help my channel to grow. And now let's continue with today's video. So today I want to share my impression of this cool lens right here. This is the Olympus 12 to 40 mm f2.8. So the reason why I bought this lens on the first place is to replace this guy right here. This is the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 mm f2.8. One of my most beloved lens. I really enjoy using this lens so much. Unfortunately, the lens is broken right now. I have some problem with the aperture. It keeps shrinking when I zoom it to 35 millimeter. And also the stabilizer has some problem at wider angle focal length. So it renders the lens almost useless. I can still use the lens a little bit, but now it's not practical at all. And it's not reliable for things like event photography or something mission critical. So yeah, that's why I bought this lens right here. As you can see, the main reasoning why I bought this lens is quite obvious because I'm very used to the 12 to 35 millimeter focal length range as well as the large aperture of f2.8 on this guy right here. The 12 to 40 has very similar focal lengths, if not better, because it goes even further to 40 millimeter, which I really love. And also it has the same aperture f2.8 constant aperture from 12 millimeter to 40 millimeter, really large aperture for zoom lens. Just like the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeters function on my photography toolbox, the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter will perform mostly as B-roll kind of lens. So I will use this lens to shoot B-roll videos of my YouTube videos for my future videos and also for some of my most recent YouTube videos that probably you already watch. And also I will use this lens a little bit for photography as well. So now let's talk about the specification of this lens. So the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter has focal lengths from 12 millimeter all the way to 40 millimeter. So it's kind of a mid range zoom. It doesn't go into ultra telephoto and it also doesn't go into ultra wide, but it covers anything in between. 12 millimeter is not really that wide, but it's perfect for some kind of landscape photography shots, scenery photography, and also just a very wide angle kind of environmental portrait. And then if you zoom in a little bit to about 18 or 25, then you have the perfect focal lengths for street photography, for general purpose photography, for product photography, food photography, that kind of stuff. And then if you zoom in all the way to 40 millimeter, now you can start to talk a little bit about portrait photography and distant landscape photography with this lens. So yeah, this is quite a versatile focal length in the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. And definitely you can use it for lots of different kinds of photography genres and also for video as well. This lens has a relatively large aperture of f2.8. For a zoom lens, f2.8 is quite large. And although there are some lenses that goes all the way to f1.7 or even more, I think f2.8 for a zoom lens is still impressive. At 12 millimeter, the uh, background blur effect is not really that pronounced, but once you zoom it into 25 or even all the way to 40 millimeter, then you can start to really see the blurry background effect caused by the large aperture of f2.8. And also the large aperture really helps for lower light situation as well. If you are shooting in darker condition, you can get slightly higher shutter speed and lower ISO with this large aperture. This lens is an autofocus lens and the autofocus performance of this lens is just top notch. The autofocus is very fast, very snappy, very accurate, and you can really rely on it, especially for mission critical photography and also for video as well. And also this lens has a manual focus function that you can access by using this clutch right here. And then you can start rotating the manual focus ring 
for a more accurate kind of manual focus experience. And also, speaking about focus as well, the closest focusing distance of this lens is very, very close, 20 centimeter. So this is almost like a pseudo macro lens. If you don't have a dedicated macro lens, you can use this for uh, photographing small insects or flowers or things like that. This lens is one of Olympus Pro Great Lens. So the build quality of this lens is just fantastic. It's full metal and then the construction is just very well made. And also it comes with this really nice, you know, lens hood that you can attach into the lens. And it really helps when you're shooting directly into a light source like the sun or something like that. And it really helps to reduce flaring and ghosting on your image. And also, uh, this lens is weather sealed. So if you are shooting in weather that is not favorable, if it's raining, if there's shower, drizzle, whatever, then you don't have to worry because the lens will handle weather just fine. Very legendary of Olympus, by the way, the weather sealing. And also this lens features a custom function button over here that you can assign to specific functions on your camera if you are using Olympus camera. Unfortunately, I'm using Panasonic Lumix camera, so I cannot really use the function button right here. Also on the front element of this lens, there's this filter thread right here, 62 millimeter that you can use to attach ND filter, CPL filter, or whatever kind of filter that you can just screw into the lens. One thing that I noticed quickly when I started to first using this lens is that this lens is heavy for a micro four thirds lens. It's even heavier than the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter. It's also larger. So yeah, please be mindful of that, especially if you wanna use this for traveling because it's a little bit heavier compared to some other micro four thirds lens of this focal length. Now let's talk about the image quality of the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. So a few weeks ago, I made some tests during one of my vlog of this lens and I wanna see how the image quality is looking from the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. You can watch the vlog up here. I will put the link on the card above. And from that test right away, I can say that the images taken using this lens are quite sharp. As you can see right now, I'm showing some of the sample pictures and the detail level of this lens are just completely wonderful. <laughs> the color, the contrast of the images taken using the Olympus 12 to 40, it's just wonderful. And the good news is that you don't really need to stop down this lens to get really nice performance of this lens, even at uh, extreme focal lengths such as 12 millimeter and 40 millimeter. Of course, if, if you wanna get maximum sharpness, then you can stop it down to F4 or F5.6. But in my experience, there's no need to stop it down at all because even at F2.8, everything is just sharp contrasty and just punchy overall. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with this lens and you can definitely use this lens for mission critical photography or video. Another thing that I noticed with the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter in terms of image quality is that this lens is more flare resistance compared to my other lens of similar focal length such as the 12 to 35 millimeter or my kit lens, the 12 to 32 millimeter. If you are shooting directly into the sun or a very bright light source, there's not really a whole lot of problem with flare or ghosting. You can definitely try really hard and you will still find some flare and ghosting, but for most general usage, I think it's more than good enough. Okay, so now I wanna mention some alternative lenses that you should check out if you are considering the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter lens. First, the obvious candidate, the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 millimeter. This one that I got right here is the Mark I version of this lens released many, many years ago. There's already the Mark II version and also the Panasonic Leica version of this lens. This is the most similar lens compared to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. There are some benefits that you will get if you are choosing the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 millimeter as opposed to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. First benefit is that you get the image stabilizer on this lens. So if you are using camera bodies that doesn't have image stabilizer on the sensor, such as the older Panasonic Lumix cameras or the entry level Panasonic cameras, then definitely this lens will give you image stabilizer. And also the second benefit is that this lens is lighter and smaller, so it's easier to travel with. 
There are some disadvantages if you are using the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 mm though. And the most obvious disadvantage is that the zoom range can only go to 35 mm as opposed to the 40 mm of this Olympus 12 to 40 mm right here. I know it's just five millimeter difference and it's not really that much. I don't think you're missing out a lot. However, sometimes five millimeter really matter a lot. So your mileage might vary. And I wanna briefly mention about sharpness. Uh, I've been comparing these two lenses and from my experience, the 12 to 40 millimeter is ever so slightly sharper. Not by much, you have to really pixel peep to really see it. So yeah, if you don't really need that critical sharpness, I think the 12 to 35 millimeter is a better choice. However, if you really need that, you know, a pixel peep kind of detail, then you should go with the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. I personally still prefer the Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter. However, I just wanna try something different and I don't really need another lightweight lens. So I'm good with the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. Next alternative to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter, if you don't really need that large aperture, that pro grade construction, that weather ceiling, and you want something of a similar zoom range, then I really, really recommend you to check out some of the kit lenses available for micro thirds. I particularly am very fond with the 12 to 32 millimeter Panasonic lens right here. I've been using this kit lens a lot with my Panasonic GX85 and I've been having a lot of fun with this little kit lens. You can also check out the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens from both Panasonic and Olympus. I think they are great alternatives compared to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. Yeah, you will lose some benefits such as a little bit of sharpness, you lose the large f2.8 aperture, and also you lose that pro grade quality, but in return, you get something really small and really lightweight that is perfect for international travel when you have to fly and you have that seven kilogram weight limit on your carry-on, then something like this that just weighs less than 100 grams can really help you to solve that problem and still give you the images that you are looking for. Another alternative to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter is not really a lens, but I'd like to call it a lens with a built-in camera, and that is the Panasonic LX100, this little compact camera right here. So yeah, definitely it has a very similar focal length, 24 to 75 millimeter in full frame terms, as opposed to 24 to 80 millimeter. So yeah, very similar and also similar large aperture f1.7 to f2.8 on the LX100. And also the LX100, the lens and the camera together is smaller and lighter compared to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter. So it is perfect for travel photography as well. The only drawback of using the LX100 is that it doesn't have the same pro grade construction. However, you get a very similar shooting experience using the LX100 uh, compared to the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter with your preferred micro four thirds camera body. And that concludes today's video. So in short, I've been really happy with the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter so far. And in the future, I hope to employ this lens more and more, not just for recording B-roll videos, but also for shooting some pictures as well for photography. I will definitely try to feature this lens more on my everyday photography vlogs, which you can check out right here. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that today's video has been helpful and also useful and also informative for you. So please comment down below, what is your favorite f2.8 zoom lens? And also if you have any question about today's video, also comment down below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, subscribing to my channel down below and also using my affiliate links down below as well. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.